because I like loyalty in my personal life. I like respect and I don't like a thief. If I drop a diamond on the floor, please don't pick it up in my home and put it in your pocket. So, Sharina Hudson, the ex-mistress, ex-fiance, and baby mama of Wendy Williams's ex-husband, Kevin Hudson, is apparently dragging Kevin to court for child support, and Wendy's fans are worried that Sharina and Kevin are plotting something to get back on Wendy's gravy train. And there are these stories running around that Wendy is considering taking Kevin back because she feels sorry that Sharina left him at his lowest time. Now, it was recently reported that Sharina dumped Kevin after he lost his most recent battle with Wendy for alimony. But word on the street is that Kevin and Sharina might be faking their breakup to get Wendy's money. Wendy has also been dealing with her own financial situation because her bank, Wells Fargo, still won't let her access her accounts. And rumors are going around that Kevin is now trying to pull off some scheme to become Wendy's financial conservator and that Sharina is in on it. Honestly, there are a lot of conflicting reports. So let's just break this mess down. And I spray painted pink all over it. And I'm just crying and having a good old time in my own head saying, all right, Wendy, you've always been strong. Girl, this is your time. You gotta get this mess together. Wendy's ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, has been going through it since his mistress, Sharina, allegedly dumped him back in July. And it doesn't look like he'll be catching any breaks anytime soon. For a minute, it seemed like Kevin was living his best life with his side piece, Sharina, not having to work and living a comfortable and luxurious life all on Wendy's dime. Now, we all know that after Wendy found out Kevin got Sharina pregnant, she dumped him and tried her best to move on. But the divorce triggered Wendy's past substance issues and she went through a very tough period in and out of rehab. She also lost her iconic show and was replaced by Sherry Shepard. And then just when everyone thought things couldn't get any worse, Wendy's bank, Wells Fargo, froze all her accounts and declared her an incapacitated person. Wendy has been under financial conservatorship ever since and she's still battling with Wells Fargo to prove that she can take care of her own finances. Meanwhile, Kevin was living the high life with Sharina and spending Wendy's hard-earned money on her. In fact, he wasn't just spending it, he was throwing it around like he was at a strip club. He even bought Sharina a house worth more than $700,000. And get this, it was right around the corner from the one he was sharing with Wendy. And I read about it in the blogs and the tabloids, the address of this place that he had purchased to share with this backwoods nine miles from my house in Livingston and they're living the high life. Kevin was out there throwing stacks of Wendy's money at Sharina, and he even set up a whole store for her back in her native South Carolina. Now, that business turned out to be a major flop, and it closed just after a few months. But Kevin and Sharina were not bothered one bit. Instead, they jumped into another venture, an online clothing and jewelry store called Vish. But to no one's surprise, that one also crashed and burned after a hot minute. But Kevin still kept trying to make things happen for Sharina, and he even helped her get certified as a realtor. That didn't quite pan out either, so they then went on to open up a vegan company for her. Yeah, you heard it right. That was the fifth business he set up for Sharina using Wendy's money. As for Wendy, she knew all about Kevin's affair, but unfortunately, she chose to look the other way, trying to convince herself and everyone else that her marriage was just fine. Look, I'm a straight shooter, pow pow. All you gotta do is Google him and you see the story. You can believe what you want, but... So Wendy reportedly made a deal with Kevin where it was agreed that he could do his thing with Sharina just as long as he didn't get Sharina pregnant. This went on for a whole decade, but then in 2019, Kevin and Sharina broke the pact and the paparazzi caught Sharina sporting a baby bump. Wendy was devastated, but she knew what she had to do and she filed for divorce from Kevin in April 2019. In April, you filed for divorce from your husband. Correct. Kevin, after nearly 22 years of marriage. Correct. And, uh, and 25 years being together. Being together. Correct. And um, because of his infidelity. Oh, well. Yeah. You know, infidelity is one thing. A full baby is a whole nother topic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, you said, you said in the New York Times Magazine, I'm a very forgiving person, but there's one thing I could never be a part of, and that one thing happened. Mm-hmm. 
Well, and well. That, and that was it. Yeah. The baby did it. Huh? A baby. But Wendy didn't just serve Kevin with divorce papers. She also served him with that pink slip and fired him from the Wendy Williams show. And she even took the sports car she bought for him. And then when I decided to divorce him, he had to be fired. In yeah. other words, I made him divorced and unemployed all in one day. <laughs> And that cute little scene on the internet where, where the car is being, the Ferrari right. is that, that was real. Oh, that was me too. But see, Kevin wasn't exactly struggling after Wendy fired him because Wendy agreed to cut him a monthly alimony check as part of their divorce deal. Now, the exact numbers are a mystery, but it was enough to keep Kevin and Sharina's lights on, and neither one of them was in a rush to get a nine to five or find another source of income. But here's the kicker. It turned out that Wendy's lawyer sneaked in a clause in the divorce settlement that said Wendy would no longer have to pay Kevin alimony if she stopped working. So after Wendy's contract for her show was suspended in October of 2021, Kevin's alimony payments dried up. Kevin was in shambles and he went on a rant against Wendy, claiming he should be compensated because the Wendy show was his vision from the beginning. He said, it's clear to say that after I left, the show tumbled hard. My intellectual property of the creation of the Wendy Williams show and how it had come across was key. Um, no, sir. The show tumbled because they got rid of Wendy and replaced her with Sherry Shepard. And that's no shade to Sherry, but let's be real. People watched the show because of Wendy, and lover or hater, no one can replace her. Anyway, since Kevin's plan didn't work, he changed the tune and tried to play the sympathy card, claiming that he didn't have health insurance and desperately needed money. He filed a complaint in court saying he had fallen behind on most of his bills, and he also claimed he needed hip surgery, which he couldn't afford without insurance. The fact that I am unable to sustain my life and pay my bills in order is extremely emergent to me. I cannot pay my my bills and sustain my day-to-day -day living. Well, that's what happens when you try to build your happiness on someone else's pain. Anyway, Kevin is now broke broke. And last month, Radar Online reported that he was forced to sell the $1.25 million mansion he bought with his divorce settlement. But karma is still not done with Kevin. It was recently reported that Sharina dumped him and moved out with their daughter after he lost the alimony battle with Wendy. On top of that, new reports are now circulating that Sharina is planning to take Kevin into court over child support payments. But something smells fishy here, and the fans are worried that Kevin and Sharina are plotting something. As for Wendy, one source recently told OK Magazine that she's been smiling since she heard the news, and she loves how Karma has been handling Kevin and Sharina. But other sources close to Wendy are saying they're worried for her because Kevin is now reportedly begging Wendy for forgiveness and painting Sharina as the real villain, and Wendy is falling for it, allegedly. So if this is true, he might try to become her financial guardian and take control of her money. Honestly, Wendy needs to be extremely careful because both Kevin and Sharina seem desperate for cash and they might be scheming against her. One fan said, please, Wendy, don't do it. He's coming back for your money and we'll be back with the other woman again. And someone else added, both Kevin and Sharina are about the money. This is acting at its worst. They're trying to smoke Wendy out. If Wendy gives in to him, he will drop her and take her back to court. Don't fall for it, Wendy. But let me know how you feel about this. Do you think Kevin and Sharina are plotting something together against Wendy? Comment down below and then check out this next video.